guys, it is Briar Trout here and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So I know I just came home from Briar Fest and I just got a ton of new ponies, but I got another one. And I actually have two more horses on the way. One is my volunteer horse for doing some Briar Fest volunteering. It's not this year's, it's I believe 2020's volunteer horse. And then there was a really cheap custom stable mate that was really nice that... It was only 20 bucks, okay? And it was in a mold that I conga'd and I I wanted to treat myself, okay? And I had no luck finding customs at Briarfest this year. All I wanted to come home with was a mini custom on the Walking Their Red mold is the mold that I conga. And I just really wanted to add a custom to the collection. I feel like every Briarfest I always end up getting a custom or a resin. And I didn't get to come home with either this year. Briarfest is definitely how I am slowly, like very slowly building my resin and customs collections. I'm definitely always going to be an OF collector. That is definitely always going to be my main thing. But I do really love the artistry of resins and customs. That just comes at a price though. <laughs> Since it was Briarfest, there were still a lot of people online selling and doing special Briarfest sales. And one of those people happened to be one of my favorite model horse artists. And it was also my birthday a few days ago. And my boyfriend still needed to get me something. So it all just kind of lined up. So let's start unboxing this pony and I'll tell you some more about him. And no, this is not a Lush package. I kind of wish it was though. I got really excited when I saw it out the door. So to give a little spoiler on what it is. So this is a custom on the Walking Their Red Mold. And this obviously isn't the one that I was referring to before. That one will hopefully be coming within the next week or so. But I was eyeing this guy ever since he was posted. I believe the date was like January 28th or something. I went back and looked. And it just immediately, I was just like, wow, I, I need that custom. And I was really hoping that it was going to be available at Briarfest. That's kind of what I was like banking on, but then I didn't realize that the art- okay, let's just reveal the artist. It's Kingston Studios, Taylor. Love her work. I have two other horses that are painted by her. Um, so one of them is my little Glen. yeah, Glen. um, full, really, really pretty bay. I got this guy for like 25 bucks at Briarfest. I want to say Briarfest 2018, but he did have a few flaws, but the person selling it told me who it was and I was like, ooh, I might be able to send this horse back and get him fixed up. And she did, and she did an awesome job. I even think she redid his hooves because they were like a little wonky at the time or something, but I love how she does her hooves, they're so cute. And then I commissioned her to paint this little moxie resin. So this is one of my two resins. Again, super pretty. But okay, let's get back to unboxing the horse that this video is actually about. There's little candies. Go give these to my horses. And then we got a little flower sticker. And then this is Taylor's information. I did read the back of that, it's flipped, but. Oh, there's another sticker too. And it's hollow. I love hollow. Obviously, look at the nails. And here's the little pony. So like I was saying before, I feel like I keep on getting sidetracked. Uh, Ryan actually got this pony for me for my birthday. So like I was saying before, before, I was looking at this horse for like ever on Instagram. She was posting it saying that it was gonna be for sale once Barbara started. I thought that she was gonna be at Barbara Press, but then it turned out that she wasn't. Then Erica was going, who is like her friend that she collaborated on a few pieces with, and those were gonna be at Barbara Press. But then I like didn't read the post all the way and it turned out that this guy wasn't going to be a prior fest. So I was just like, dang. I was like, okay, like if there's nothing that I find at Briar Fest that I, if I wasn't even like going in thinking, okay, I need to compare everything to this horse. But like literally every single custom mini that I saw, I was just like, okay, but like, I like this one more. And like, I'd rather just save the money and buy this one. But Ryan was nice enough to purchase him for me because he still had to get me something and he was like kept on offering to buy like horses at Briar Fest but every single one I like wasn't fully in love with and I was like oh, it's okay but then like we were driving back and I just like sent him the link I was just like he said you need to get me a birthday present so anyway enough chitter chatter let's unbox this horse oh I can already tell how cute 
and very, very well packaged. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Wow, look at him. Absolutely adorable. Okay, so this is a custom on the Walking Thoroughbred mold with a slight re-sculpt in his head over here. I'm gonna do some close-ups of him in a little bit and I'll put him next to another one on the mold that I have. Oh my goodness, he has the sweetest face, look at him! <laughs> Even though he's such a simple bay, like just the detailing in his white markings, like completely, not makes up for the like lack of, but like gives it some pizzazz. Okay, let's just do some beauty shots of this guy. Those are those little marks, little whisker spots I was talking about. There's his belly. He still has the little Briar logo. Some more just close-ups on his markings and his little hooves and more of his adorable little face. He is next to a, another one on the mold. So it's actually a pretty significant drop in the neck which is really, really cute. I actually really love the lower headset. And here that is from the front. Okay, I messed with the camera angle a little bit, but that is this little dude for you guys. I know that Taylor has a few more of her customs still up for sale from her like Briarfest little debut of all the customs that she made for Briarfest weekend. So definitely make sure to go check her out on Instagram and there it should be linked in her bio with her model horse sales pages page. She's got a couple cute cute minis left and a few traditionals. There's one on the do and day mold that I absolutely love. It is so cute. But I'm super happy to be adding this guy to my collection and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching me unbox him. Like I said before, I have two more horses on the way. I think I might just do like a little shorts of the other mini custom that I have coming. Since I'm trying to get more into those now, I guess. And then there should be a full unboxing video of the other horse. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I am looking to start posting once a week, at least for my remaining time at home. So I'm going to pick a day and that's going to be my day to upload. I feel like I've just been going a little crazy posting almost every single day with all my Briarfest videos. But now that those are done with, I think I just want to stick to once a week. I feel like that is very achievable and I should be able to stockpile a little bit so it could take me into the fall semester. And hopefully by that time I'll figure out some videos that I could do from my room. I also have to figure out which horses I'm going to be bringing to college with me. I usually just bring a few minis. I think I'm actually going to get like a little shelf that I could put them on and I could bring more than like the two or three that I usually bring. This guy might have to be one of them. He is really cute. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoy. Tell me what you guys think of this little cute pony and subscribe if you haven't already. And most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye guys!